Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have breaking news update with uh, New York Attorney General Letitia James versus Donald J. Trump in the civil fraud trial in New York over $450 million uh, that Donald J. Trump uh, is set to owe New York over his uh, you know, uh, interest loan, good interest loans that he got on his properties. So they're trying to bring him down and we have breaking news updates. We're exposing the truth about New York Attorney General Letitia James today because I don't see anybody else doing it and I think it's right in front of our eyes yet the mainstream media loves to bash Donald J. Trump but in this video we're, we're showing Trump's side. We're taking Trump's side on this one, all right? We're giving Trump the benefit of the doubt. And let's just say that his Mar-a-Lago estate isn't worth $18 million, but maybe it's worth more like a billion, right? Because if you take a look at the other properties nearby, well, anyways, we got a lot to cover. But before we jump in, we're going to pray and read the Bible because God comes first. Amen? Comment amen if you believe that the Lord comes first. Let's give God the praise that he deserves, okay? This is a prayer of protection for us all and for Donald Trump this morning. This is Psalm 91 from the King James Version, which you guys told me, Dylan, please read from the King James Version from now on. So we're doing that today, King James Version, Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him. And honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Comment amen down below. What a beautiful Bible reading. Psalm 91. Um, and especially with Judge and Garon, he's the former taxi driver who turned the judge who's kind of in charge of this whole thing. I don't know if you saw that video with O'Keefe going into the judge's gym. But a man actually went in and he brought in a camera into the judge's gym and was recording him about like, hey, we need to get Trump. We need to take Trump down. Obviously, he was joking, um, but it just really exposed the truth. You know, the judge literally was caught on camera saying, oh, a lot of times juries get it wrong. So let's tune in to the Letitia James update here. All right, so here we go. Donald Trump, this is breaking news as of this morning, may not pay bond and instead let Letitia James seize Trump Tower. So this is breaking news right now, my friends. Donald Trump faces a deadline to post a $454 million bond in the civil fraud case against him in New York. Insiders said he might be weighing a little discussed option, doing nothing. Let's watch this. Less than a week to pay $454 million in a bond in his New York civil trial uh, fraud case. Yeah, as his lawyers are firing back saying, quote, the judgment's full amount is a practical impossibility. A bond requirement of this enormous magnitude, effectively requiring cash, Reserves approaching, or cash reserves, approaching $1 billion 
is unprecedented for a private company. Yeah, you need to pay $450 million liquid cash? That is obscene. That's so much money. Usually you have that tied up in assets, so you can't just liquidate and get that money. It's not that easy. This, as uh, New York State Attorney General Letitia James is threatening to seize Trump's assets. Look, they're trying to take all this. And by the way, this is also a great portfolio showing how much Trump helped New York. These are all beautiful buildings that brings in so much revenue, so many tourists, so many people travel from all over the world to see Trump Tower, Trump Park Ave, 1290 Avenue of the Americas, 40 Wall Street, Trump National Golf Club in Westchester, Briarcliff Manor, New York, and Seven Springs, Westchester County, New York. I mean, Trump literally saved New York and made it this amazing state before you know, you had people like Letitia James and all these libs come in and ruin it. And now New York is seeing people are flee fleeing New York because of the, all this stuff going on. And sell them off to get the money. There's so many facets to this story. Let's bring in Fox News contributor, GW uh, University law professor, Jonathan Turley. Jonathan, I did not know uh, anyone that's trying to, in my life, to try to get a $450 million bond. But one thing I found out, very few companies offer it. They went up to about 30. All 30 said, we can't do that unless you have a billion dollars to put up. We don't want collateral. We don't want uh, things to put up. We don't want properties. We want cash to put up. So therefore, we're at an impasse. What are the options for the former president? So crazy. Well, this is obviously a situation where you don't have any good options, including getting the bond itself. And I remember if you get the bond- Somebody commented saying, yeah, Letitia James, she's always got an eye on you because she's looking both, both east and west at the same time. And you still lose considerable amount of money on the cost of the bond. And this creates a sort of perverse incentive for judges like uh, this one, who, could, who comes up with this astronomical, in my view, ridiculous uh, level of, of in everybody's damages. view. Nobody and thinks that number is, act, is good. I feel bad for Trump. I really do feel bad for him, honestly, because think about all of this stuff he's going through. I mean, they're going after him and after him and after him. Think about they're going after him with Jack Smith from Jack Smith. They're going after him from Alvin Bragg with the hush money case. They're going after him with Fannie Willis. She's having an affair, uh, or uh, Nate, the guy that she hired is having an affair and his wife with Fannie Willis. They're using taxpayer dollars, travel around the world, have these vacations, and they're you know trying to throw Trump in prison. And now this, I mean, this is absolutely absurd. It's crazy. This is a, look at this. As of today, my friends, breaking news, full list of Trump's properties, Letitia James is about to take. Trump might have to owe all of this stuff. Um, these, are, um, these are assets, properties that Letitia James might be the owner of, the new owner of, or maybe not the owner, Herb herself, but she's gonna be the one taking them. She could start seizing some of Trump's properties if the former president doesn't come up. Yeah, I believe there's one week deadline from today on, um, you know, Trump has to make these payments or else. Look at all of these. These are all properties that she could be taking. And Mar-a-Lago's even on there, no! Guys, I really wanted to go visit Mar-a-Lago. I haven't gone there yet. New York Attorney General says appeals court. This is all breaking news today, my friends. Oh, that's that woman, that CNN woman. I don't like her, Kara. New York Attorney General says appeals court should disregard Trump's claim it's impossible to get a bond. Wow, what a joke. So she's even firing back at Trump right now saying, oh, let's, uh, let's disregard it. Look at what she said. Um, Defendants here had no reason to wait for their reply to raise their allegations and arguments about the difficulty of obtaining a bond, as their efforts to obtain that bond began before their stay motion was filed and indeed before judgment was even entered. New York Attorney General Letitia James's office pushed back on Trump's claim that he can't find an insurance company to support his $464 million bond in the civil fraud case, telling the state appeals court they should ignore the argument. Telling the A, a appeals telling the a state appeals court wow of course cnn has typos in their letter and their articles i'm surprised they're not using chat gpt to write these articles trump's lawyer on monday said it was nearly impossible for trump to secure a bond 
He was turned down by 30 insurance companies. What a massive joke. The Attorney General, Letitia James' office wrote, Defendants supply no documentary evidence that demonstrates precisely what real property they offered to sureties, on what terms that property was offered, or precisely why the sureties weren't willing to accept the assets. Yeah, you wonder why, because you, you buffoon Letitia James, you're the one who's saying that all these properties, you know, are worthless. So it's like, oh, well, these properties are worthless. Yeah, oh, I wonder why nobody's, it's like, you're creating this own problem for yourself. Look at this. This this is astronomically crazy. She's pushing back on Trump's extraordinary re extraordinary request to stay the four hundred sixty four million dollar fraud judgment. Again, breaking news as of today. Everyone's covering the story. Let's Donald tune in. Trump tonight. Trump's lawyers are re revealing he doesn't have the money. Telling the court Trump is unable to secure a bond for four hundred sixty four million dollars. <laughs> Liberals are running to the media like this like crazy they're celebrating trump doesn't have the money oh trump's broke it's like you guys are so dumb after the civil fraud judgment against him in new york saying trump is facing quote insurmountable difficulties claiming 30 insurance companies were unwilling to underwrite the bond tonight new york state attorney general letitia james signaling she will try to seize some of trump's properties if he's unable to pay the judgment ABC senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky leading us off. Wow. You know what I just thought about, guys? Is that he has to pay $464 million. I think that around the world, there's probably 100 million people who would be down to pitch in five bucks, right? I would be down to pitch in five bucks. What if, what if, let's just say crazy, crazy hypothetical, there was a, you know, a Donald Trump fund where a hundred million people put pitched in five bucks because i would pitch in five bucks for this would you oh, oh they're playing music here in the new york appeals court he cannot cover the 464 million dollar bond he must post one week from today as he appeals the civil fraud judgment against him okay so we are now moving on the segment to exposing uh the truth about letitia james this is trump speaking about this let's watch this uh, he can de uh, she, he calls Letitia James crooked. Then we're gonna move into this segment of the video about exposing the truth behind her. So please thumbs up these videos. It helps more people uh, discover the truth about this whole or oh, this whole thing. A New York State judge just ruled that he's crooked as you can get, and a lot of people expected something like this, but not for the amount. Uh, but this is a very dishonest man. This is a man that's been overturned already on this case four times. But a crooked New York State judge just ruled that I have to pay a fine of $355 million for having built a perfect company. Today, justice has been served. Today, we proved... Wow, this woman. Today, justice has been served? What a joke. That no and by the way, this is a lower court. Like, Trump's going to appeal this. ...above the law. No matter how rich, powerful, or politically connected you are, everyone must play by the same rules. Oh. We have a responsibility to protect the integrity of the marketplace. This sounds like a movie. If you ever watched her campaign video about she's, oh, I'm going to run and I'm going to take Trump down. It's like, and now she's like, today justice has been served. This sounds like the Hunger Games. And for years, Donald Trump engaged in deceptive business practices and tremendous fraud. Donald Trump and the other defendants were ordered to pay $463.9 million dollars. That represents $363.9 million in disgorgement, plus $100 million in interest. Oh my gosh, in interest? $100 million bucks in interest? Which will continue to increase every single day. Oh my gosh, this lady is crazy. She has so much hate. She reminds me of E. Jean Carroll. Uh, I'm gonna use that money with something that Trump hates. These are Trump-hating women. I mean, what man would ever want to be in a relationship with a woman like this? I'm sorry, but I would be surprised to see anybody ever want to have any sort of friendship or relationship with this one. Unless you're also a Trump hater, then I guess that would make sense. Until it is paid. Oh my God. I do not like Letitia James at all. It's a scenario New York Attorney General Tish James saw coming. And she has been absolutely clear on what she's prepared to do 
If and when Trump comes up empty. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek, uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court. And we will ask the judge to seize his assets. Oh my gosh! Guys, are you seeing this? We are prepared to make sure that the judgment is paid to New Yorkers. And yes, I look at 40 Wall Street each and every day. I look at, at 40 Wall Street every day. Boom. It's a Ew! I don't know who this guy is, but this guy... Boom. It's like, these guys suck. I, I hate these people. I'm sorry. I know you're just not supposed to hate anybody, but like... I You know when Trump said, Merry Christmas, I hope you guys... I hope all my haters rot in hell. Um... It, it's righteous anger. I I went to church, uh, uh, it was like a week after that when Trump said that. And our pastor, I don't go to this church anymore, um, but I, the pastor said, he was he started talking about the election and he goes, oh yeah, you know, this, this election season coming up and blah, 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 you know, there's so much uh, stress and anxiety in this election season. It was actually like right after New Year's because it was like the New Year's one, right? Because it was obviously right after Trump said that. And the pastor had the audacity to say, yeah, you know, uh, there's, there's so much hatred. One of the candidates even told their opposers to rot in hell. He goes, that's not a man who follows God. Somebody, he would have said, oh, I forgive them. It's like our pastor, he, had, he went up there for 40 minutes, talked about how much he hates America, and then talked about how much he hates Trump. And I'm like, I'm done. I'm not going to that church anymore. I'm not. It's like, he probably sits down and you know, likes watching uh, Letitia James. And now, if you don't think Letitia James is biased, watch this video about her talking about Trump. He's called me venomous. We will fight back to your attempt to bring Trumpism <coughs> to New York City. He's called me disgraceful. <laughs> it's like, I don't know who the Trump regime must go, like this Trump hating rally. It's kind of honestly reminds me of when I used to go to UC Berkeley. There would be rallies like this all the time. An illegitimate president and an illegitimate member of the United States Supreme Court. He's called me radical. Listen, yes. we know he's crazy. We know he doesn't have a sound mind. We know he's out of control. We know he's losing it. I I think Letitia James is losing it. And then she goes on to say, we know his days are numbered. That's a wild thing to say. He's out of control. Yeah. We know he's losing it. Yeah. We, know we know he's losing it. I'm like, Letitia James, I think you're losing it. I think you are. His days are numbered and we will come together. He's called me a racist. We've got to stand up to an, an administration which is too male. Look at that sign. I, I stand with immigrant New York. Yeah, look how well that's doing for you. Okay, saying that you're too male, or the, or that administration's too male, that's uh, sexist. Saying that you're too pale, that's literally referring to the color of their skin. And which, by the way, this this is a male, pale man next to, right next to her. I mean, I'm just calling out the elephant in the room. This is a male, pale person. This is a... I, I mean, I'm not trying to be, like, racist here, but I'm just... I mean, that's how she's being... I mean, it's just like... It isn't the whole point of being... Like, isn't the whole point is not to talk about skin color? So why is she bringing in skin color into this? I don't get it. And this woman behind her is like freaking out like Letitia James is her savior. And these dudes on the side are like, uh, well, we're male and pale. So <laughs> they're like, they're like, why are we even here? And this girl's got her flash on her camera, on her phone. She doesn't even realize her flash is on. <laughs> she's like putting it up over Letitia James like she's an angel. Like she's a, it's a halo maybe. Too pale and too stale. Thank you. 
Yeah, these dudes on the these that dude started chanting on the at the end. I I don't understand the, this logic at all. I I really don't. I'm really struggling to do it. Uh, look at this. Letitia James was booed. <laughs> Watch this. As she tells the crowd to simmer down. New York Attorney General Letitia James booed at FDNY promotion ceremony. Let's get a load of this. They're booing her. Come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> Oh. First, um, simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief... They're chanting Trump! <laughs> Hodgins for that recognition. I think they're chanting Trump. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Oh, this brings me so much joy. You know, people, you know, the, the good side about this, the good thing about this all is that I think it's waking up a lot of people and bringing in more support for Trump because so many people see how ridiculous this is. Um, now let's watch this. This is um, Letitia, uh, Alina Haba, Trump's lawyer, slamming Letitia James. Let's watch this. Afternoon. And of course, we got Trump here and Eric Trump too. Let's remember that before I walked into court, we had already lost. That was clear with his motion for summary judgment. Before witnesses, before experts, and do I think any of it mattered? I certainly hope so, but for anybody that was in the courtroom for the last 11 weeks, you heard that there was not one fact against President Trump. There was not one piece of paper that showed anyone committed fraud. And don't forget that section 6312. I love Alina Haba. I think she's a beautiful and a, she's an amazing lawyer. And I think Trump is lucky to have her. Consumer fraud statute has been wrongfully used against my client, innocent defendants, the organization, and every employee of the Trump organization, which has single handedly changed the New York skyline, including the building we are in today. These are special properties. Real estate is an art, not a science. But you know what else is an art? You know what else isn't a science? Political motivated individuals. She's using this to paint a canvas that Donald Trump is a fraudster because they can't beat him. This woman, I, I believe she deserves all the success that she's gotten and all of the money that she's been paid by Trump. I think it's worth every single penny. In the polls. They can't beat him in the polls, so she ran on Trump because that was the only way she could win. Trump, it, yeah, I mean, and now let's watch this because they're people. actually talking now about how horrible this whole uh, case is. Look at this, New York Attorney General and Chuck Schumer dancing together. Look at this, ew! Oh my God, look how much he's sweating. That's disgusting. I can't play because they're playing music. Look at this. Ew, Letitia James dancing with Chuck Schumer. This is a nightmare if I've ever seen one myself. Ew, they're grinding on each other. They're rubbing their sweaty bodies all over each other. Ew, they're holding hands. Oh my gosh. This is nasty. That is nasty. I'm sorry. That is disgusting. Um, now we have Stuart Varney saying New York Attorney General Letitia James undermined the rule of law to get Trump. This just came out yesterday, so this is breaking news. Let's watch this. Justice in New York City has become a politicized joke. We've reached the point where Donald Trump has to come up with a half billion dollars cash just to appeal the verdict in his fraud case. Crazy. According to Forbes, he's got the money. It's worth over two and a half billion, but it's not liquid. It's tied up in property. It's not cash. Trump's lawyers say it is impossible to get the money, just can't get it. The right of appeal is fundamental. To be denied that right because you can't get a half billion dollars from a, for a clearly excessive penalty. That's a very interesting point. The right of appeal, you know, you should be able to appeal this, but when you're making it nearly impossible to get the funds to appeal it, it's kind of taken away the, your right to appeal. Stuart Barney is pretty smart here. That is a denial of justice. Hold on, it gets worse. If Trump can't get the money by next Monday, six days away, the highly politicized Attorney General Letitia James says she will start to seize and sell Trump's assets. The Trump haters embedded in New York's legal system are gleefully dreaming of padlocks on Trump Tower. And for what? 
There are no victims to pay off. You yeah, who, who are the victims here? Because everybody was happy. The banks were happy. Everybody was happy. It's crazy. Like the bank, the banks and those, the banks aren't saying, Hey, Letitia James, we need your help. The banks were like, we were paid on time. We signed these deals. We did our due diligence. They paid us the money plus interest plus, you know, everything on the loan. So it's like, who, who's the victim here? Usually in a fraud case, there's a line of people out the door who lost money and want it back. In this case, nobody lost money. Trump is accused of inflating the value of his assets so the bank, uh, the banks, plural, would loan him more money. Crazy. But they never changed their loan terms. They made money. There are no victims here. I don't understand this whatsoever. I really, really don't. Now, Greg Gutfield saying, if this were a movie, the bad guy is Letitia James. Let's tune into this. All Democrats take their lawfare to unprecedented levels. They could now start seizing his iconic properties. The former president has just six days to fork over nearly half a billion dollars in his civil fraud judgment. Or New York Attorney General Letitia James could throw a padlock on Trump Tower. Trump's lawyers say that making the... This is the saddest day in America, I believe. This is, or on Monday, if, when Monday comes, that will be the saddest day in America if they close Trump Tower over all of this. And I think there, people will really start to wake up, my friends. I think people are really gonna start to wake up and say, hey, look, this is enough. And people are gonna start being like, I, I'm gonna start supporting Trump now. Even people who've never supported Trump in their life. That's what I think is going to happen. And we, do, we need to remember to pray, my friends. Pray because prayer is powerful and prayer does work. Prayer moves mountains. So let me know your thoughts on all this going down. Thanks for watching and God bless.